Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm doing a match preview for Shamrock Rovers vs Derry City on Sunday at 5pm in the Brandywell. So my last preview against Friend Harps did pretty well, got about 250 views which I'm delighted about so thanks in advance for that and thank you for all the likes. Can we get up to 300 views in that? Hopefully. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Is Derry a bigger match than Finn Harps? Yes, but Finn Harps first one back so I'm going to say can we get 300 views. Normal, normally people ask for likes but if you could share this to your friends maybe family whatever get it up to 300 views that would be great so before we start talking about this match let me talk about a match that just happened Dundalk have lost against Bowes 2-1 so I am a Rovers fan but I have to say thank you very much Bowes now I know Bowes are now second only three points behind us but it does make our season a bit easier having to worry a little bit less about Dundalk for the next match or two so currently the table is looking like this Shamrock Rovers in first place things you love to see and we're on 18 points then you have Bowes behind us on 15 and Dundalk on 12 but we have a match in hand which is against Derry tomorrow tomorrow evening I was going to say tomorrow night but it's a 5pm kickoff, and it's not on the watch LOI which is quite disappointing um, well the one I got anyway we, we have to watch it on the air sport so oh, I've got that station but still if you bought watch LOI it's a bit disappointing you'll have to pay an extra fiver to watch this match if you don't have air sport that also depends on what package you have the package we got from LOI doesn't allow us to watch rovers uh, versus Derry, which is a bit annoying but we, we'll watch it on air sport first of all we're going to talk about Aaron McInnes playing against his former club I do think he'll start this game I'll talk about that in the lineup now in about two minutes but I think he will start this game and um, if you remember his first game for rovers it was the opening of our, our new stand or our newest stand um, and he did a penenka from the penalty that was a a very nice goal, probably McInnes' best goal since he's been here, or most important, that or the penalty against Dundalk in the final of the FAI Cup, which we went on and won. So, I'm um, sorry Dundalk fans. Looking at Derry for a second, they won their last match 2-0 versus St. Pat's away. Uh, Akin Tunde, I don't know how to say the name, he scored and so did James McCormick from the spot, I'm pretty sure. Um, Akin Tunde signing from Maidenhead for free. Uh, to Derry in July, only 24 years old, bright future ahead of him, he's played one game and that was against Pat and he scored, hopefully he doesn't do that against Rovers but who knows, he looks like a decent player, Derry are sitting on 7 points, they drew against Finn Harps I think it was and they beat Pat and Bowes 2-0 in um, both of those games, they lost to Dundalk at the start of the season but that is quite expected, Dundalk being the the league, the, well, the best in the league they were last season. This season so far, Rovers have been the best in the league. So let's get into my predicted lineup. Last week I got the formation basically spot on. Um, God, like it was a variation. I wasn't spot spot on, but I was there. Like yeah, I said five four one. It was a five. It was a, it was a five two three. So it could, but quite, it played the four a five four one in game in my opinion. But this week I'm gonna go with a five, or we'll say three, will we? Because it's, yeah, I don't know how. Would you consider it a five or a three? What we played, I I'd say three. We'll say, for this we'll say three. It's gonna be a three four two one. So in goal we've gone with Alan Man. It's conceded one against Finn Harf, but nothing you could do about it. Had a very solid game. Good on on the feet. Good distribution. All the stuff you'd expect from an experienced keeper like Manus. So he's going to be in goal for this match. Um, playing against a Northern Irish club. I don't know if he ever played for Derry. I doubt it. But yeah, he probably knows them well. For the three centre-backs, I think that's pretty easy. You've got Pico Lopez, Lee Grace. And then the, the tough one was Liam Scales or Joey O'Brien. But I've gone with Joey O'Brien. Played against Finn Harf there. Looks fairly solid. So we've gone with Joey O'Brien over Scales. That is because of who we have at left wing back. So we'll go through that now in a sec. But... Pico, Lopez and Joey all playing solid against Finn Harps. As I said, conceding one goal out of, I think, what, only one shot they had on us. So they, they kept uh, Finn Harps quiet in the last match. Hopefully they can do the same against Derry. Um, or if they want to make it interesting, concede two and score three. We'll have to wait and see. On to the right wing back, we've gone with Ronan Finn now. Again, Finn Harps, he, he had a great game. Not not involved too much. He was good on the ball. Um, but... I think the right wing backs and left wing backs we need to use a bit more going forward. I think we're using them as a bit of a safe option. I think maybe a few overlapping runs from him and the left wing back who we've gone with Ferruja this game. Uh, I said Scales the last one. I've gone with Ferruja. Hopefully he um, takes on the players a bit more this time because we know how skillful Ferruja is, how quick he is. So maybe a 1-2 with Jack Byrne running behind, put it across and Aaron Green to score maybe. So 
I think, yeah, we need to use our wing backs a bit more defensively, very sound. Um, but offensively, I think maybe push a little bit higher, take a few more risks, and then we'll get the most out of our wing backs. Moving on to the two holding centre mids, I've gone with Gary O'Neill and Aaron McInef. Uh Gary does always tend to stay that bit deeper, but McInef likes to drop deep as well, as we saw against Finn Harps. And that'll leave the two just in front of them, Dylan Watts and Jack Byrne, I've gone with, to really push the. The Derry defence back and put a load of pressure on them because we all know, as I may as well say, my striker here as well, Aaron Green up top, he likes to press the defences, he'll keep them pinned back. If Jack Byrne and Dylan Watts can get up as well with them, I think just pin them back for the full game, get a couple of goals. Um, but yeah, talking about that midfield, I think Gary O'Neill, he had one slip against Finn Harps where from a corner, they were 2 on 1 then, but they made a meal of it. Apart from that, very good performance from Gary O'Neill. Um, he's given Greg Bulger some real competition this year I know Bulger's out for the rest of the season but I don't know when when Bulger does become fit again he'll get that spot Gary O'Neill or Greg Bulger let me know in the comments personally I think maybe Gary O'Neill I think Gary O'Neill's better offensively Greg Bulger's better defensively I know he'd want a defensively better player there but like Gary O'Neill is still very good defensively so I'd probably go with Gary O'Neill there, and um, follows me on Instagram, watches the video, so I think we'll go with Gary O'Neill there. Then McInef beside him, as I said, very good goal against Finn Harps, I, I know I said the keeper could have saved it, I'm st I still think he could have, but still, great power in the shot from McInef, um, good player all around, I think he has to start this game. Jack Byrne, Dylan Watts, the, the partnership they have on the pitch, especially against Finn Harps, is absolutely amazing. In my opinion, they're, they're our key players, I think. Them two are like, you know, your Bamiang and Lacazette, your Henri and Bergkamp, whoever iconic duos you can think of, Drogba and Lampard, whatever duo you can think of, Jack Byrne and Dylan Watts have to be up there. I think if you, if you watched the match against Finn Harps, you could see it was telepathic. Once Jack Byrne got the ball, Dylan Watts would make the run and Jack would play a lovely ball in behind Dylan Watts would get in on goal, whether he's scoring, whether he's getting a save out of the keeper. It was a very good play from both of them. So I have to go with them too, just behind Aaron Green. And yeah, Green are up top. We saw Dean Williams on and Gaffney for the last 15 minutes of the game. Uh, Gaffney didn't really get involved. Dean Williams got, I think, two free kicks first. So I've gone with uh, Aaron Green. I can see Williams coming on, but we'll start off with Aaron Green as he he just makes defences tired. And I, I know he misses the odd shot, but I don't think people appreciate him enough for the runs he does. And like even off the ball... He's running up and down. So moving on to my score prediction. I'm going to say 3-1 to Shamrock Rovers. So for Derry, I'm going to say Akintunde to score. He scored one goal in his only game for uh, Derry so far. So maybe he's he's on good form. Maybe he'll put one away. Uh, Derry are a hard team to defend against. So Akintunde to score one for Derry. Then Rovers 3, I'm going to go with Aaron Green to get one. Jack Byrne to get the other. And Dylan Watts or McInef. I'll say Dylan Watts. And that'll make up the three goal scores for Rovers. So 3-1 to Rovers, in my opinion. Um, hopefully we can get the, do the game done in the first half. That'll be nice and handy. But if it goes to the second half, it'll be more interesting. If we do win, though, six-point gap on Bowes and a nine-point gap on uh, Dundalk, which would be very nice. So I don't know, will we do it? Hopefully we pull it off. Um, let me know if you will watch the match down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, like and yes subscribe to the channel for more of this content i'll see you about two hours after the game for six things we learned about the match and um, let me know if you disagree with the team lineup i think it's the exact same team that played finn harps uh, so yeah i thought i'll go with that and yeah i'll see you in the next one adios